Greetings, I am Dr. S. Monish Balaji. Today, we will be talking about Hemotymphanum. Hemotymphanum is defined as the presence of blood in the middle ear canal or the tympanic cavity. The hemorrhage is usually from the superficial branches of the external carotid artery. The causes of Hemotymphanum include trauma with or without skull base fracture, therapeutic nasal packing, in the presence of eustachian tube dysfunction. Hematogenous disorders like leukemia, hemophilia and idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. Barotrauma which can be due to scuba diving, air travel or even hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Anticoagulant use, infectious conditions and finally tumors. The symptoms include otalgia, oral fullness, and defective hearing. Otoscopy may show bulging red to purple to dark blue colored tympanic membrane. Lack of tympanic membrane mobility can be seen, such as during air encephalation with a pneumatic otoscope. Conductive hearing loss is usually seen. These images show bulging tympanic membranes with a background of bluish black discoloration, highly suggestive of hemotymphanum. Initial evaluation of any blue middle ear mass includes an audiogram and CT scan with IV contrast. The CT scan may identify congenital vascular malformations or bone erosion due to chronic otitis media or tumors. A magnetic resonance imaging scan is useful in distinguishing hemotymphanum from a vascular tumor. CT or MRI may show evidence of opacification of the middle ear cleft by blood or blood products. image of a CT scan shows the bilateral opacity of the tympanic cavity as demonstrated by the white arrows. Treatment of hemotymphanum is initially conservative. However, if the condition persists after one month, myringotomy and insertion of a ventilation tube may be indicated. However, in these cases, the presence of a glomus tumor should be considered and CT scan must be done with contrast enhancement in conjunction with angiography as clinical detection is often difficult. Thank you.